How did Michael Jordan become the greatest basketball player of all time? Let's find out. Michael Jordan was born in New York City, and when he was five years old, he and his family moved to Wilmington, North Carolina. He attended Laney High School and played baseball, basketball, and football. When Michael was a sophomore, he tried out for the varsity basketball team, but did not make it, as he was said to have been too short. Over the next year, he grew four inches and played on the varsity team, averaging over 25 points a game for two years. He was heavily recruited and Michael eventually accepted a scholarship to play for North Carolina. After his first year, he won ACC Freshman of the Year and made a game-winning shot in the 1982 NCAA Championship game. He would play three seasons with North Carolina, averaging 17.7 points per game, and left after his junior year to enter the 1984 NBA Draft. Jordan would go on to be selected third overall by the Chicago Bulls in the 1984 NBA Draft, and it would be the beginning of an outstanding career. In his first season, Jordan averaged 28 points and was named an NBA All-Star. He also went on to win the Rookie of the Year. Later on, from 1987 to 1990, the Bulls were knocked out of the playoffs by the Pistons three years in a row. That would change the next season as Jordan won his second MVP award and the Bulls were able to defeat the Lakers to win the NBA championship. In 1992, Jordan won another MVP and he led the Bulls to their second straight title. The streak continued in 1993 as again the Bulls won the NBA Finals, led by Michael Jordan who didn't win the regular season MVP but earned his third straight Finals MVP. After this season, he retired from basketball and began to play minor league baseball for the Chicago White Sox. His retirement didn't last long as he was back in the NBA in 1995 and he picked up right where he left off. Jordan won yet another MVP and led the Bulls to a nearly undefeated playoff run to win their fourth championship in just six years. The Bulls would win the finals two more times in 1997 and 98, both times beating the Utah Jazz to complete their second three-peat of the decade. In January of 1999, Jordan announced again that he would be retiring for the second time. This lasted just two years as he would come back and play for the Washington Wizards. He played his final NBA season in 2003, playing in all 82 games and averaging 20 points and playing in his 14th All-Star game. A Hall of Fame career was coming to an end and Jordan finished with 32,292 points, which averaged out to over 30 a game. He was a 5-time MVP, a 14-time All-Star, and he had won 6 NBA championships. The talents of Michael Jordan are incredible, and his accomplishments clearly reflect his ranking by many as the greatest basketball player of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this.